hey guys, you're doing that thing again where you're making a case for Star Wars being like the most insufferable fandom that might have ever lived. <laughs> The Star Wars community uh, waxes and wanes in terms of like insufferability, and right now we're in the waxing part of everything. It's not fun. It's not fun, um, and it's not cool. And it feels like every couple months, really, really, anytime something new relating to lore or whatever comes out in, in Star Wars, that uh, there's like this major and insane discourse um, that eventually turns into like actual personal attacks on like people's existence and that's never okay it's doubly frustrating that we continue have having to have these conversations and it's kind of transcended the whole like acolyte thing like people are upset about the acolyte and i have my own issues with it but like pe people have their own issues with the show and that could have ended there like we can talk more about our issues with the show whatever fine so be it like I'm to totally fine let's have a conversation about those things but when it becomes uh attacking somebody's person at attacking somebody as a person um sending threats sending ill wishes to somebody like people have done to representatives of Wikipedia, and all of this over Kiati Mundi and him apparently living longer in canon than he did in in, in the Legends Expanded Universe continuity. I guess in Legends, Kiati Mundi's birthday, or not not actual birthday, but Kiati Mundi was born about 93 years before the Battle of Yavin, which would have made him late 70s by the time of Order 66. So he was old, but not like 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 Yoda old or anything like that. And so uh in in the Legends continuity, Syrians, I think the, that's the race of uh species that uh Kiati Mundi's a part of um Syrians had fairly standard to human lifespans like a 65 year old was considered old anything older than 65 was considered pretty old and fine like okay cool so in canon Kiati Mundi shows up in the Acolyte uh which takes place about gosh what 100 years 100 to 90 to 100 years before the battle of yeah, uh, 90 to 100 years before uh, the phantom menace so about 90 to 100 before 32 bby so about around i think 132 years before the battle of yavin math and i could be wrong on that and so the implication is that kiati mundi and his species their lifespan has been you know changed uh I don't like using the word retcon because you, I don't I don't know if you can really retcon something from Star Wars Legends. It was never canon in the first place, but I, I digress. Now, regarding canon and legends and all this stuff, I, I said this before. I'm one of those guys that is totally fine with using legends sources, for the lack of a better term, uh, as references singularly, not like end all be all. There are times where we look, we know literally nothing about somebody's head canon, and we only have information on somebody's line of thinking through legend sources. And whenever that happens, I'm okay looking at that and saying, okay, well, that should give us a good idea as to how this works or who would. Do it. And then eventually, a lot of times, the thing about the whole canon discourse is that a lot of times, not all the time, but a lot of times, they will take Legends things and bring them into canon because it works that way. But there are other times where you want something to fit a different way and you make a change because, I mean, like, Kiati Mundi, I know people like bringing, I mean, like, he his age was mentioned and his birthday was mentioned in, like, the Star Wars Episode One Insider Guide that came out in 1999. This was never considered can it was like a companion piece for the movie the phantom menace this is over 26 years old and not in like a precedent way it's it's old in a in a why are you like, like why are you holding this as like the bible but i digress so anyway this whole discourse around this was because of the implication that kiati mundi now lives his race rather rather lives way longer uh on a standard level than they did in Legends. And normally it would be like, a, oh, that's interesting, I guess. And trust me, I'm like a continuity crazy anyway. I don't like when I don't like when 
things get changed. You you have heard you have heard me if you go to certain social media sites, you have seen me whine and roll my eyes when whenever like like the Bad Batch pilot episode where they completely and I don't care what anybody says where they completely redid the Kane in the Last Padawan comic so that the Bad Batch could fit in it. I was very I was very annoyed by that. Or when um uh the Ahsoka Tano short in Tales of the Jedi as well animated and as cool as it was, you start wondering like, wait, this is a lot like the Ahsoka novel. And I know they have their own little like, oh, like this explains this and this explains that this might have been a different event and blah blah blah. But like I have my own little like weird quirks about continuity as well this is one of those things that i just never understood and all this to say that getting in our feelings over kiati mundi who i think is the most cut ass jedi in the history of mankind is both very funny and very on brand for uh, star wars fans and sending threats and insults over kiati mundi really in general but like over kiati mundi no less is even more insane to me. Like, like, there are people making videos about how this is somehow the fall of Western civilization, and that's insane to me. Why are we Why are we acting like this? Grow up, please. My God. There's a time to have discussions about the Acolyte and the shortcomings. I think, I think the episodes are nowhere near long enough. The writing could be stronger, and I'll go more into it as we go along, but... My main thing here is that, like, guys, can we, like, can we be professionals about it? What are we doing here? Anyway.